Welcome back everyone. Today I answer some questions from viewers about my Reolink cameras. The first question was how far are the mounting holes apart? And they're about 50 millimeters apart. I don't know how much this is in inches. You gotta look for yourself. Sorry about this. I live a while here now, but I'm still not getting along with that inches. I still use the metric system. And the next question was, when you have an FTP server and save all your footage to the FTP server, will it still work if there is no SD card in the camera? And that's what we're going to try out today. We are just removing that SD card and see if we still get the image sent to the FTP server. I think it's a safe bet to cut the power before I remove the SD card, just to be safe. First we loosen the screws, but don't take them all the way out, leave them in. Then I take a piece of tape and tape it on the back plate and move the back plate with the screws out. This way I don't lose the screws. Okay, taking some tweezers, remove the SD card and go inside and see if the FTP upload still works. Now I drop the SD card. Oh, I got lucky. I found it. As you can see, I emptied the files in the FTP server directory for the backdoor camera. And here you see no SD card detected. Let's have a look. Storage. No SD card detected. Now we have to create some movement to see if it still uploads any footage to our FTP server. So I guess I got to run out and jump around or do some stuff. Okay, it seems to upload some files. Yes, it seems to be working. Even without a SD card, it is uploading the footage. One thing I want to mention, a SD card is not that expensive. You can get for six, seven dollars a 32 gigabyte SD card. So I don't know if it makes a lot of sense. The only thing I can say now, if the SD card would fail in the camera, I still have my footage on the FTP server. So that's pretty good. Okay, put the SD card back in. I'm going to format it real quick. You always should format it when you take it out back in or once in a while. I think I format mine maybe every two, three months. I don't like uh, the Microsoft application to view the footage from the FTP server, the safe footage. Usually it opens it, I think, in the media player. I don't like that. I install my VLC. It's a lot better, in my opinion. And I will put a link in the description below. The install goes pretty quick. And all I have to do is doing some adjustments. So all the saved mp4s are open with vlc and we are good to go thank you for watching all the way to the end if you're not a subscriber please consider subscribing to my channel it helps me out a lot and i appreciate it very much and i hope i see you next week oh hold forgot forgot to say please hit that like button thank you very much